This is Perry, and welcome to Retro Positive Review. Today, I'm reviewing a film from 1995 called Nature of the Beast, directed by Victor Salva, starring Lance Henriksen and Eric Roberts. This film represents the very definition of a hidden gem. Most people have never even heard of it, let alone seen it for themselves. I like that. The film follows two main characters, Adrian, played by Roberts, and Jack, played by Henriksen. The two meet on the road. Jack is a traveling salesman, and Adrian is a drifter. Jack passes Adrian on the road and does not pick him up. In a town slightly down the road, the two meet up in a diner, and things really start to heat up from there. Not too neighborly, are you? I said, you're not too neighborly, are you? I beg your pardon. You got a kink about watching people fry in the desert? Hey, look. I didn't see you out there when I did. It was too late. I'm sorry. How the hell did you get out there anyway? Lunch. I mean, it's the least I can do. A fella in a fancy suit must have a name. Jack. You know, Jack, I can usually tell in about two minutes all I need to know about a person. Like what? Like, is he a loser? Does he shoot dope? Does he like to wear ladies' underwear? You telling me you're a psychic or that you like to look at people's pants? You're a funny guy, Jack. Here we go. Coffee. Iced tea. Do me a favor, would you? One of you boys stole that million dollars. Leave me a big fat tip, all right? What million dollars is that? That case of money from the Vegas casino. He can be passing right through here. Is that right? Deputy says so. Says if he's smart, he's headed for the airport with his head on a swivel. A swivel? Why is that? Got away with all that mob money. Ooh. Not much a person wouldn't do for a million dollars, huh? I wouldn't know, but uh, I'd like to hear more from you about that. You ready to order? What do you think about that, Jack? Hear what uh, Patsy here says she do for a million dollars? Anything. I didn't say that. The plot reveals rather early on that there are two men wanted by the police. One, a serial killer called the Hatchet Man who's on a killing spree. The other, on the run after robbing a casino. It's easy to infer from the film that these two men are in fact Jack and Adrian. However, which one is the killer and which is the thief remains to be seen. Hey man, I wouldn't stay here. Check that shit out.
these two men play off each other very well. They keep you guessing to the very end which is the lesser of the two evils. Both men are underrated in my opinion and deliver memorable performances. The film is primarily a psychological thriller with a bit of suspense and horror thrown in, and both men are the great picks to fill these roles. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> what do you think you are doing, Jack? I'm dead. Going back to the motel. Bullshit! You tried to scare her. You tried to scare them both away, you asshole. This is it, Agent. This is what, Jack? We're done! We're not done. We're just starting. You think this is coincidence, our paths crossing like this? We attracted each other. We were like magnets, Jack. The two of us colliding in time, bound together by our little secrets. The director also did a very good job, primarily in selecting these two actors. The, act, uh, the director knew that the film was going to depend completely on the actors. This is not a high-budget popcorn-selling film. If this is what you're, you're looking for, this ain't it. This is, like I said before, a perfect hidden gem. And if you come into this as a fan with reasonable expectations, I think you're going to enjoy this film greatly. Uh, the director, Victor Salva, what he did was stay within his bounds, which a lot of directors have a hard time with. Uh, he took what he had and worked within it. And it may sound simple, but a lot of directors get it wrong. A lot of producers get it wrong. He didn't try to stretch what he had, you know. He knew that his main strengths were going to be these two actors, and he played the whole film off of them, and it's great. I mean, whenever you have this type of character where... They could be a good guy, or they could be a bad guy, or you're just not sure. These two guys are perfect actors for that. Henriksen is very skilled. He's unique. He's got a unique voice. Uh, and he's got a bit of a menacing presence, but he can also be the good guy, you know? You want to like him. And Eric Roberts, oh man, he's one of the best. I don't know why he ever fell off the A-list, but at least it allowed him to make movies like this he would have otherwise never made. Um... But man, when you're guessing about a character, there's nobody better than Eric Roberts to play it. I mean, he can play a bad guy that's totally despicable and you'll still like him. It's easy to play a popular bad guy like the Joker and come out of it with people liking you. But playing one that's absolutely despicable and you still say, wow, what a great job, that's hard to do. And Eric Roberts does it on a regular basis in his films. I think he's one of the better actors out there and... Uh, him and Hendrickson have both made bad movies in the past, but I have never seen a film with either of them where they were the reason it was bad. It was either bad production value, the other actors in the film weren't that great, the director didn't know what they were doing, something like that. They were always at least as good or better than anyone else in the film. And, yeah, you can't go wrong with these two guys. Both great actors. I would always recommend watching their films. Or their television shows. Uh, you can't really go wrong. And even on those projects, like I said, where it's not as good, you're still going to get a good performance out of them. And you can just laugh at the rest of the film. So, if you're looking for a hidden gem, if you like suspense, if you like a thriller, a little horror mixed in, you should definitely check this out. And uh, maybe the best reason I can think of to watch this film would have to simply be... For the fuck of it.